everybody welcome back to a brand new tutorial today I have a tutorial based on this eye makeup look I did use some of my new goodies that I got that I got from iMeds so I wanted to just play and have fun I really was inspired to use this color chocolate wasted from dose of colors this is the look that I came up with uh, beyond this realm and I did use majority of my new stuff and these eyelashes are the 3d full mink lashes from violet Voss, which are very they're not heavy believe it or not I thought like I was afraid to use them because the cocoa goddess ones are heavy but these are actually not that heavy I do have to like cut from the inside because it is bothering me a little bit and like it looks like it's coming off but it's actually not and if you don't like this lip color please feel free to use your own lip color if you wanted to I just thought to do a bold lip with this eye makeup look and I wanted to play with my new stuff so Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in another video. Bye. So to prime my eyelids, I use the Smashbox 24 hour eyeshadow base and this is great for oily eyelids. I'm going to go ahead and set that with the shade Ludwig from the Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye Contour Palette with the Sonia Kashuk brush. The next shade that we're going to use is to highlight the brow bone and this is the shade Latest. And I'm putting that on the high arch of my brow bone. For a transition shade, I'm going to use the shade Scumbus with the Morphe G7. These names are kind of a little bit hard to pronounce, so forgive me if I pronounce anything wrong. But I'm gonna go ahead and use a windshield wiping motion from the outer to the inner tear duct area. The next shade that we can pick up is called Cytree, and this is a very chocolate brown color, and I'm using a Makeup Geek Soft Dome Brush. It's very pointed at the tip, so it's very precise, so you can start developing the outer crease, and that's what I'm gonna do here. Just slowly, slowly add more, more and more product just to create a depth so I can have a nice outer definition of a outer V. Next, we can go ahead and blend all those shades together. You can use any fluffy brush you have. I'm using the Sigma Taper Blending E40 brush. For the entire lid color, I'm going to use the shade Latinus and packing that on all over the entire first half of the eyelid. I'll zoom you guys in so you guys can see it a little bit better, but I will go ahead and zoom you guys in so we can intensify the outer crease a little bit more, as well as the lid color. I'm just packing that on ever so slightly, adding more color and color as I go. And again, just so I won't lose any pigmentation of that brown, I'm just slowly adding that back in. It was the color Sight Tree. The next clip is a color called Sykes and I'm using a Morphe M562 brush and slowly adding the black little by little. Again, black is very hard to work with so just be patient. Adding little by little will definitely increase and make your outer corner very very defined. And the key is to just keep blending, packing on, and I'm going to go ahead and use that same E40 to blend all of those shades together so they can all diffuse very nicely. So this is where I'm zooming you guys in so we can go ahead and define that outer crease a little bit more. And I'm going to go ahead with that same chocolate brown color and adding it into the outer V. You'll see that it'll start getting a little bit more defined. I just wanted to show you guys up close because from a distance you weren't able to see it and the color pigmentation doesn't look that well. I'm using that matte black shade and again adding a little bit by a little. After blending and blending you do lose the color lid shade so I'm just going to go ahead and pack that on once again just to have more appearance of a brighter eyelid color. And I'm going to go ahead and do that to the other eye. For wing liner I'm using the Physicians Formula in the blackest black. This is the way I start doing my eyeliner. I just use my tail of the brow bone as a guide and then I just bring it towards the center of my eyelid. I'm not bringing it all the way into the inner tear duct, just halfway of my eye. So that's what I'm gonna go ahead and do here. And then I went in with the Sephora eyeliner just to mattify it and make it more black. And you can, if you want to, bring out the tail a little bit more. I'm going to prepare for false lashes. I'm using the Violet Voss 3D Mink ones. After adding eyelashes and eyeliner, eyelashes can create a different appearance and it can take away from the color. So if you want to create more depth, you can add a little bit more black. That's what I'm doing here. 
for the face, I'm using the Mineral Veil Face Primer from Hourglass. Color correct, I'm using the Morphe Color Wheel. I'm putting that under my eyes. And for foundation, I'm using the Frankie Rose Foundation, which has been working pretty nice with my skin complexion. I really like it. And to apply that, I'm using a Morphe M B6 brush. I'm stippling that all into my face. I will go ahead and list everything that I use down in the description box as well as my shades and as well as the eye brushes in case you guys missed anything. I'm going to go ahead and conceal with the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer and I'm going to do one eye at a time just because when I do both, I feel like my under eyes get creasy so one at a time just helps me a little bit more better nowadays. So to set my concealer in place so it won't move or cake under the eyes all day, I'm using the RCMA Translucent Powder. I did buy this at the Nigel's Emporium and when I went in store, they all looked alike. They have the same packaging. They had different types and the one that I got was Translucent Powder. Kathleen Lights was talking about the No Color Powder, which I got the wrong one, obviously. However, I did call back just to exchange it or if I could return it. The makeup artist that helped me had said that translucent powder is good for artistry and the no color is good for special effects. So just a FYI and a heads up. He said both were good, but it's just personal preference and whatever you're using it for. And I'm going to go ahead and set my foundation in place because I am oily skin. So I'm using that with my BH Studio Pro powder. For bronzer, I'm using MAC Give Me Sun with a MAC 168 brush. And for blush, I'm using another MAC product. This is a, called Love Thing and it's a mineralized brush. To highlight, this has been, oh my gosh, a very intense highlight. This is Inglot's Sparkly Dust for face, eyes, and body. And I'm using a Morphe 310 brush. As you can tell, it's mighty intense. If you add some Fix Plus to it, it'll be a little bit even more intense. I'm blending that all out together so it can all diffuse very nicely. To finish up this tutorial, I'm going to use Suscubus and Cytri on the lower lash line. I'm going to add a nude to the waterline. This is from Rimmel. And then add some mascara to the bottom lash line. And of course, my lip color is Dose of Colors Chocolate Wasted. That's the end of this makeup tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you guys would like to see next. And I will see you in another video.